So today I wanted to start with a question. I wanted to ask, what do you believe in? And when I'm asking that question, I'm asking the big question, like, what do you believe in? Do you believe in God? Do you believe that there is nothing after, that the universe is chaos? Do you believe that uh, in reincarnation, do you believe in spirits? I want to know what you believe in, and I'm going to tell you what I sort of believe in. So I was raised in a Jewish family that converted to Christianity very, very young. Uh, so my entire upbringing was with this Jewish culture, but with a Christian religious mindset. And at a certain age, I want to say it was like 16 or so, I left the church. I'm not going to get into the reasoning behind that, but I did leave the church over an issue that had happened. And I really, really yearned to try to find something else. So I went to a bunch of different other churches, and the more I went and I searched for answers in the church, the less I was finding, the more I was actually finding things that were antagonizing me and that were frustrating me and that felt like not in line with what I believed. And what I was believing was that people deserve a basic level of decency. Everyone deserves a basic level of decency. It doesn't matter who you are, what you believe, uh, what your background is, who you love. Uh, I just believe that everyone deserves a certain level of decency. And so I started pursuing that line of thought, and I started going down this like atheist rabbit hole, and I got angry for a while, and I got really pissed off uh, at religion for a long while, um, until... I started to reintroduce myself to a lot of religious practices, though not as a believer, but as an observer, and as someone who wanted to appreciate some of these practices. So I would notice, um, I went to Ireland, and when I was in Ireland, I went to a church, and I saw this French man doing the Stations of the Cross, and I thought it was a beautiful ritual. Or I lived with, um, with an Omani roommate, and I enjoyed watching him pray. Um, uh, I did Ramadan with him, and we fasted together, and even though I didn't believe in that, I practiced it. Uh, same thing with a Catholic friend. I did Lent uh, with, with him, um, and I started doing these things not because I believed in their, in, in their, de in, into the, uh, not that I believe in their deity, but that I really just wanted to understand their rituals and how it made them feel more whole. And so I came around to this very humanistic belief system that that ritual binds us together, that religion is a source of community, but religion can also be a source of dogma, and that the only thing you need in life to be truly happy is this mantra by Marcus Aurelius, and that is, if there are gods and they are just, they will not care who, who you worshipped or whose name you said when you prayed, but only that you lived a good and just life. If there are gods and they are unjust, they are undeserving of your worship. And if there are no gods on your deathbed, at least know that you lived a good and just life. And that's the way I try to live. I try to live not quite agnostically, but I just don't know. And it's not my place to know. And I've accepted that I'll never know. And instead, I'd rather believe in what's here and now. Uh, there's a really amazing philosopher named Baruch de Spinoza um, who once described God using the word the all. And I really subscribe to that term, the all, because everything is divine. Existence is heaven. Existence is also hell. The here and now is the most divine that I can possibly rationalize as real. And in knowing that... That means that you are divine. I am divine. We are all part of existence. We are all in this together. We are each other. I am you, and you are me. Every cruelty that I conduct, I conduct to myself. Every kindness that I show, I show to myself. And I think that when you look at the world this way, you develop this empathetic mindset and this humanistic mindset because you know that we're all in this together. And I just wanted to share a little bit about my beliefs today because I shared a post earlier talking about how, yes, the universe is, is out there and yes, we are a part of this universe, but also the universe is in us. You know, we are made of star stuff. We are the atoms that were cooked in the crucible uh, that led to the Big Bang. 
you know, we are part of that singularity. And I think that's spiritual in its own way. I don't think there has to be some separateness, some, some deity, some God that's above us or below us. I think that we can be that. Just like maybe a finger isn't the hand, but it's part of the hand. Maybe we are not the divine fully, but we are part of it. And that makes us divine. And so that's just a little bit about my belief. Um, I know I haven't really talked about anything so esoteric on this channel, um, but I wanted to share a little bit about my belief system, and I wanted to know a little bit about yours. And I don't judge anyone's belief system. I think that there's a lot of beauty in Christianity and Islam and, and Hinduism and Judaism and all the other wonderful faiths of the world. My partner is actually uh, is, is, is actually a Norse pagan. Uh, I know someone in my life uh, who worships Gaia. You know, there are so many ways you can worship and love and pray to the universe. And I think that we're all in this together. We should all just listen to each other's experiences and value each other. So I hope that you valued this little story. And I would love to hear in the comments what you believe. And let's share in that together. So thank you so much for listening if you made it this far. And you have a wonderful day.